I'm going to be testing these dollar bills for traces of cocaine. Supposedly in the United States, a large fraction of bills contain these traces of cocaine. And so I've collected dollar bills from all over the United States and I want to know what fraction of these dollar bills have those traces, which places are the ones more likely to have it. And we're going to talk about why we see that on these dollar bills. No way. <laughs> Look how blue that table is now. Hi, I'm Craig and welcome to Market Power. A claim that I have seen is that something like 90% of bills in the United States contain traces of cocaine. And there are a couple of reasons why that would be the case and we're gonna talk about it in this video. But I wanna just cut down to right, let's start testing these and see what happens. So I found some cocaine detection wipes on Amazon. I've got some gloves to try and avoid contamination and we're gonna see how much cocaine is on, well, maybe not how much cocaine, but how many of these dollar bills have cocaine on them. They come with gloves inside it. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Got these gloves and I didn't even need them and I've already opened them, so there you go. Well, let's use the official gloves. Oh, these things are, oh, crap. <laughs> Not using the official gloves, they are small. The first ones I'm gonna test are from here in my hometown. I'm a professor at Utah State University, and here in Logan, it's a small town, and it's actually, I believe, often labeled one of the safest towns in all of the United States. And so I'm really interested to find out if the bills that I have have any detection of cocaine on them. So I'm going to try my first wipe. This wipe, let me show you what it looks like. So this is what the wipe looks like fresh out. It is supposed to turn blue if there's any detection of cocaine on there. Here as a control, you can see that I'm wiping it on this glove and it's staying the same color. Let's see what happens when I do this first bill. That's nothing. So the first one, no dice. Let's check the next four. Okay, we just went five for five, no traces of cocaine. And I don't know if I'm surprised or not. All right, next up, I have some bills from Cincinnati, Ohio. My brother was in Cincinnati, he brought these back and they've just been folded up for at least a couple weeks now. So they're not lying as flat as I would like them to, but that's the way it goes. Let's go ahead and see how Cincinnati does. First one from Cincinnati, not very exciting, looks the same. We'll check the other ones. Four bills from Cincinnati, none testing positive. So next one comes from Philadelphia. Uh, this one actually comes from a market power viewer. I put out on Twitter that I was interested in doing a video, I need some participation, and someone from Philadelphia responded. I'm not gonna say the name because I haven't gotten permission yet, but if I get permission, there you go, it's right there. If you're interested in possibly participating in future videos, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, it's at MarketPowerYT, and maybe you'll be able to be featured in a future video. So just have the one bill from Philadelphia. It should be pretty quick and easy to see what happens here. Nothing. So my last one is from Fort Lauderdale. We're gonna check this out, but before I check out this last one, I wanna explain why I'm interested in this. One of the reasons is that I've been reading a lot about cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin, and one of the biggest critiques of Bitcoin is that it's gonna be used for buying and selling drugs. And when you think about it, like, yeah, sure, it gives you good, you know, it's an anonymous currency that would allow you to transact online this way. Um, and indeed, one of the first use cases of Bitcoin was using it on Silk Road to buy and sell drugs. But whenever you bring that point up, 
it's almost guaranteed that the crypto enthusiast is gonna say, yeah, but studies find that 90% of dollar bills have traces of cocaine on them. It's gonna get real dark if this is crypto's night. They use your currency for crimes, that's your kryptonite. Most crime is done with Benjamins, not the blockchain. There's a reason most dollars carry traces of cocaine. And the reason why is because this is also an anonymous currency, right? Like if I were to take these bills from Fort Lauderdale and the ones from Cincinnati and throw them all into a pile and mix them up, you would have no idea which ones were from Cincinnati, which ones were for Fort Lauderdale. There's no way to track them. I mean, obviously, if you go on like the minuscule level, you can see the serial numbers, but generally, this is an anonymous currency. And so that is what a lot of drug deals are done in. It's in cash, so that way you can't trace them. And so to say that, oh, we shouldn't use cryptocurrencies because they're gonna be used for drugs, the opposition is always, yeah, and American dollars are often used for them too. Like, we can't, that's a, that's a really weak criticism of cryptocurrencies. So let's check this last one. I have $5 here. Nothing. Of all of them, I thought Fort Lauderdale would have them, which is why I saved that one for last. And nothing. I, these studies, uh, they've been replicated. You'll see them a couple times. And I, I don't understand why I couldn't find any. <laughs> I have a whole stack of dollar bills, but they're all here from Logan. I've got a ton more wipes. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try five more from Logan. I, I want to find one. You're supposed to be able to find this. No way. Zero. I don't know whether I should be happy or disappointed. Like I am disappointed right now because everyone's telling me, yeah, like there's cocaine on the money, but there's not. But I guess I'm happy that it's not actually on here. So it has been a few days since I've been doing my test. And can you see that there is some blue on my table? Look how blue that table is now. I'm not sure what this means. Does that mean that there were traces on there? And I, I don't know what happened, but this is actually making me think I need to try this again. Do you think that I did something wrong? What should I do to figure out, how, like how can I test this more robustly? Um, here on Market Power, we're interested in looking at the power of markets and economics to shape our world. And if that's something that interests you, you're gonna like some of these other videos I've done trying to look at economics here in the real world. And if you're interested in joining a community of people interested in and excited about economics, be sure to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next Market Power.